Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 677. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, and then click on my college website link. You can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 673 to 682. Oh, wow, we have a great trick here from the Mr. Excel message board, Aladdin and PGC01. Provided some great formulas. Now, this setup, we have some players, their scores, and their dates. And all we want to do is for each person, average their last three. So if we're doing Kate, you know, Kate has a bunch of scores here and dates, and we want the last three. So that would be that one, this one, and this one. So we need to average those scores right here. So it would be something like, okay, so we'd have to go through here and find all the Kates, and then go through all here and find the latest uh, dates, and then go over here and get this. So I'm going to um, click there. Hold Control, click there, and click there. So those three values right there. Now that would obviously be a hassle to do it that way right there, especially if you have a huge data set. Not, and not only is it a hassle, it takes a long time, but of course, errors. So we want to try and figure out how to do it uh, with a formula. Equals, and we'll use the average. The very first thing we need to do is we need to uh, tell the average only find for this cell Mary. So I'm going to highlight this range here. I'm going to type if and highlight this range right here, our logical test. F4 to lock that. Our logical test will be anything in there equal to Mary. Comma. Now we need to continue because we have more criteria. We still have to somehow get the uh, latest dates from these. Another if. And now we're going to use the row function, all of these values right here. And unlike some of the data extract array formulas we've seen here, it doesn't really matter that this is 2, 3, 4. We're just going to look at the rows. We're not using like the index function where we need the exact first row, second row. But that row, but that's not going to really help us because we need to only look at the rows for, in our case, Mary, or when we get down to Kate, Kate. So I'm going to say, hey, if any of those rows are greater than or equal to, well, what's our criteria here? Let me suspend this for a second. I don't, it's three. We find the last three. So what we're really interested in for Kate, for example, is this row, this row, and this row. So if we said the largest three, well, right now we have all the rows. We're trying to build a true false to extract the, the dates from here. All the rows, well, we'll use the large here. Now, the large is going to help us get that row, that row, and that row, because they'll be the biggest rows for Kate. But how in the world are we going to tell the large that we're only interested in Kate? Well, we actually have to repeat this again inside of the large. This is saying, hey, only look from this value of the, Mar the values for Mary or when we get down to Kate. Okay, Whenever inside the large, that if, and the value if true is going to be row again. <coughs> and then F4 to lock it. Now, close parentheses on that. And that's the array. And that'll if we highlight this, it, this is all inside the large, and hit the F9. We can see, oh, we have all those rows. For, so Mary has four. But what do we want? We want to get the third largest, which would be 8, right? So for Mary, it would be 8, 9, 10, Control Z. And this column is sorted. So we just simply say, hey, give me the uh, three biggest. I'm going to click there and then down arrow to get to that H2, F4. That'll give us the large. Now, all the large is doing is actually F, F9. It's just giving us 8. So that's telling us the row number. So for the, the third largest is Mary right there. So anything greater than that, Control Z. So that's where this row comes in. When we get anything greater than that 8 from this, F9. We have a false, 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 false. Oh, there's a true, true, true. That just helps us figure out that that was the group 
of records that we need in our average. So control Z. Now we've done one, two, three. So finally we can type a comma and the value we actually want to dump into the average is this. And then F4. Now I'm going to close parentheses on that, close parentheses on that, close parentheses on the average. And this is an array formula, control shift enter. Now I can drag this down. Oh, whoops, it looks like it's working here just fine, but what about here? Well, sure enough, Joe, there's only one. Now, there's two ways we can do this. We can actually, it depends on our criteria, right? If you don't have three games, then what we really want is something like that's not enough here. So we could take this copy, and that's what PGC01 did. If, well, how are we going to trigger that there's fewer Joes than three? Well, we'll use count if. And we'll just count this whole column right here, Broop, F4, comma, uh, in the, we're at the top here, so this will be Mary. Any time that is less than our hurdle, and I'm going to F4, when it's less than the hurdle, what do we want? Something like the value of two is going to be something like, you know, not enough, whatever, games, or whatever your text. Otherwise, and then we'll put the value of false, control V, that big thing, close parentheses, control shift enter. Looks like I missed a parentheses right. No, I got an equal, uh, equal sign, control shift enter. Another way we could, so that's not enough, but if the criteria was, hey, we want to calculate this average for Joe, whether he has one, two, or three, we could come up here, and I'm actually going to edit it right here. And notice right now it's three, but really if we think about Joe, we would want it to be either one, the because uh, the large is looking at that one, one, two, or three. Well, we could simply, and this is what Aladdin did, we could simply do... The min, if you think of it in Joe's example, the min of one or three. So it'll take one, which it'll take the largest one. So, and again, we'll have to use the count if to get our variable count. So all of these, F4 comma, and I'm editing in this one, so I'm gonna click there. So right now, count if of Joe just gives us one, right? F9, control Z. So, and then inside of the min, we want to put comma or this one right here, F4. So it's the min of those two. And then close parentheses, I think. Uh, okay, so that is the K. That should work right there. Control, Shift, Enter, and then drag it up. Okay, so uh, averaging the last three. Um, one assumption there, another assumption for uh, your criteria of whether to take the three or not, and uh, we'll see you next trick.